earth shattering news this morning. <laughs> we are officially, it has taken so long to get this all officially booked. These are all of our flight plans, all of our hotels, all of our cars. We were able to finalize everything. This is also, I can't really show you very many details of this one. This is Kaylee's and Jacob's flight for when they fly to Hawaii. We were able to call and book our hotel for our extra stay, our extra night in Hawaii that we added. We were able to call um, Jason's American Express account and have them call Hertz and add an extra day for our car that we have already booked. He's like, well, you can just cancel and rebook it. And we're like, why don't you look at the price we paid versus what the pr current price is? And he was like, holy crap, it's double. <laughs> And we were like, yes. And he's like, don't cancel it. Let me call her. It's for you. This is why you, it's wonderful to have a concierge. So he called concierge, uh, he called Hertz and got someone on the line there. And he was like, well, we can just add a day. And it was like 80 bucks to add a day versus like, I think a minivan for the day um, was like 125 or something like that. And I was like, yes, I will take 80 over... Um, that and we just have a car like we have our car for the week we don't have to go back and trade it in or whatever so now we are set to fly to japan we are set to fly to hawaii we are set to um go to one hotel for one night um get our car rest relax wake up in the morning kaylee wants us to do costco just talking to her she wants me to do the costco run before we pick her up at the airport her and jacob get in at what did we, Kaylee, what did I tell you? 1.30? I have it right here. She gets in, yeah, like at 1.30. So that gives us two and a half hours, roughly, to go to Costco after we check out from our hotel and get food and stock up the car and then pick them up from the airport and then we head off. We can't actually check into our hotel. Hmm. That might be kind of tricky. We're going to figure that out. Because it'll be like 2, it'll be like 2.30, maybe 3. Sometimes you can like put your stuff in your room ahead of time, which I don't know. Sorry, battery died. So, um, anyway, we're going to figure all that out. But everything is booked. Our hotel for the night, um, the one night, was only like 2.50 or something like that. And it's at the Kauai Shores, right by Lava Lava Beach Club, I think. Maybe it's not. Maybe I didn't end up getting that hotel. It's just the regular hotel. It's just two queen beds. Ashley's going to have to sleep with us. With us, me and Jason. And Abby and Chelsea can take a bed. But we get free breakfast in the morning when we go to check out. And it's wonderful. We're all set, right, babe? I think we're set. And we're packing. And um, you want to say hi? No. Jacob's family got chicks. <laughs> I mean, she's honest. It's fine. I don't. If they don't want to be on, I don't. Want to be on. Yeah, I'll honor it. Um, Except for when my knees was located, but you know. That was cool, though. You gave me. <laughs> that was cool, and you gave me permission. Uh, uh, for, yeah, but you were pushing into me. No, I wasn't. I wasn't pushing it at all. No, 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 no. Not the camera. Oh. Like your body was like pushing. Like, because you were me. about to pass out. And you did pass and out. I was getting pissed that like you were leaning into me. Because other were... people were pushing me. Yeah. We were in a crowded space. No, but you did pass out. And me pushing into you is the only thing that caught you from like slumping oh. down the stands. Oh, I know that. Yeah. But in the moment, I was like. And your, your sport med teacher um, absolutely loved having the footage of it going back into socket. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So. There are advantages to having, so you'll give Jacob those shoes? Uh -huh. Are you going over there? Because you want to hang out with the chicks. Yeah, I'm also getting Max. Oh, we have Max. For the, not, is he like just hanging out here during the day and then going home? Uh, or are his parents gone? Well, I think Matthew's parents are gone, but he's going out with his girlfriend and wants me to watch Just to watch him during the day. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so you'll see Max at some point today. Probably not. And we get him... Um, you'll have them today, but we get them tomorrow when you're at work. No, because he's not going to Canada anymore. Oh, he's not? No. Oh. You have to tell your sisters. They were looking forward to spending the... Oh. Well, I don't think Ashley knows. 
She was like, Mom, we're going up to take Max to see well, Kaylee at work, right? Maybe I can have him. Well, it doesn't matter. If we don't have to take him, then... I have to take Chelsea to go get some clothes anyway. Okay. So. All right. Jason and I are going to... Oh, he is letting me take my car. I was like, well, I don't care. I have to take my car. We can take yours because his car is parked out. And he's like, well... My car is hard to do at the bank because it's so low. And I was like, honey, do you want me to take my car? Is my car better? He doesn't like putting miles on his car. That's the trick. So he's waiting for me to move my car. And um, I'm going to go to the bank and then Costco just for Coke. I just need to have a supply here at home because clearly I, yeah. Okay, next up, Costco for some office supplies. For him, correct? Yeah, I said there was something else. We're not here for groceries, except for Coke. Cream you pops. said. <laughs> All right, I forgot to film much more in Costco just because we went through really quick. Um, what is that? Uh, we ended up getting the Coke, band aids, and packing tape. Jason got these for the store. Is this what I'm keeping, or is this what you're keeping? Oh, that's what we're keeping here. You got your stuff put in the car? Yeah. I'm going to do a little first aid kit for me to pack. We also stopped off at the dollar store and got some black tablecloths for my little talent show. I'm going to do black gold. So I have black tablecloths and some black streamers. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I was trying to look for some gold ones, gold streamers. And then I got these little balloon holders. Might get some more of those. Um, but I'm going to go and order some black and gold balloons. I have more room in my budget because that's the last things that I need to buy. So I'm going to buy a bunch of balloons because they make the biggest bang for the buck. Um, but I'm going to do that at a different dollar store because mine never has any stock. And so, um, but we got home and... What do you notice that there's not, uh, no, it's not on there. In the camera, it looks like it's on. We don't have power here at home. I was in my car, finishing up, like I, we just pulled in or whatever, and I was watching a video, so I continued to watch it. Jason got out of the car, unloaded the car, and all of a sudden, like, my phone stopped working. Like, I don't have network. The entire Verizon network. The whole, down. yeah, our whole Verizon network is down. You can make a phone call, but none of the Text other Text messages works. aren't going through. It's um, data. Her whole power is out. At least our cars are charged. Yeah. So, anyway, I well, that's a little, little Easter gift right there. I did get that at Costco. Um. So I was gonna go watch a movie on my computer, but I can't. So I'm gonna go up and. You can only do if there's no power and there's no internet. Oh, I'm pretty sure you figured out what you're gonna do. <laughs> are you kidding me? I think you found the solution right there. You already literally what? I'm here to think about it. What? I'm here to think about what to do. Do you know if the store has power? I mean, they're completely they like, power. they're in a different county. Well, close enough to a different county. Good thing I didn't have electronic stuff that I needed to get done today. Or I already did. We got up at like 7 o'clock this morning. Abby doesn't have to wake up for anything, right? Abby has to, what time is it? She's at class right now. Yeah, that message failed to go. I got my message. Technology, dude. Technology. So I might go. Um, do you need to pack more? Or are you kind of oh, really? done what you can? Dude, how can I get you? Um, I could go and do um, the birthday gifts. Is that's what I could go do? Just pack up some. You can't even see me. Pack up some birthday gifts. Um, and get those all ready to go. Um, we got. I didn't even finish telling you. We got these um suckers, cause Ashley and me. I. <laughs> When I hear babies crying or toddlers crying on airplanes, and I know that it's because of their ears, because they don't want to eat, they don't want to play, they don't want to, you know, like, they can't be consoled by mom. Um, I just know that, like, <laughs> if they just had a lollipop, their ears would pop. And so, Ashley, the other day, when we, she was picking out a snack, just in general, um, we were talking about coming back soon to go get our, car, our airplane snacks. She says, Mom, can we get lollipops this time? Because I want to be able to help people on the plane. I thought that was very cute. I will save some for her as well. Because um, it does come in handy. Because even, like, 
Harry and Chelsea can have their ears kind of bug them. So I made a long flight, so we might as well. All right, well, we're gonna have to find non-electronic things to do. I'm pretty sure he's figured that out quite well. You Yeah, something like that. Okay, it's been like 45 minutes. I've been up here packing, but it's like a little maze to get through my room. I am packing up Easter, birthday, early birthday for Chelsea, and like total birthday for Kaylee, Abby, no, Kaylee and Ashley. I just, I'm out of breath. I just went out to the garage. Got some more um, bags that I've got in my little stash, as well as I give a big gift bag, cellophane bag kind of thing. And now my TV is on so I can turn on a movie. Jason's taking a nap downstairs, as we knew he would, and uh, has a friend coming over in about a half hour. Um, I'm hoping to actually chat with them as well. So we're gonna turn on, I'm watching, what is it called? The Desperate Hour on Amazon Prime. It's the only place I could find. I got a little uh, preview of it on TikTok and it looked really good. So we're gonna watch that and I'm, I can't show you these things because the video isn't out yet. <laughs> like it can't come out. It'll come out before their birthdays or before we're celebrating. So I gotta go work on this. All right, I'm hot and sweaty. I just vacuumed the entire house. We had a lot of dust. It is supposed to be like super good weather this weekend. So I have the windows open over there. It's hot, it's hot up here. No longer a cold room right now. But I wanna show you the progress I've made. The state of my bedroom has improved drastically. Let me back up over here. So over here, I still have my makeup bag ready to go. I, I work out of it. I packed up those batteries. I actually had these in my pocket for a little pick-me-up snack to keep going. And then they melted because I forgot. So I haven't had my snack. Um, I've got all the suitcases ready to go. They're not fully done. We're still working on them. We're still living out of them, technically. Got some extra packing cubes. I think these ones are actually broken, so I'm gonna throw those ones away. But as you can see, I have vacuumed this whole room. I've actually vacuumed the whole house. Cleaned up this area, and look. Oh, it feels so good. Um, and they're, the kids can't see what's in them, so that's a plus. We have a birthday present for Chelsea. She's gonna get early because she needs it for um, our trip. So she's gonna get that one early. I haven't decided what day. I'm gonna make that one a separate day for her and surprise her. She's downstairs, but she has headphones on. So I'm not gonna tell her that that one's for hers right now. She'll get that one just like on a spontaneous day. These are Easter presents. The two in back are Kaylee and Abby. The two in front, Chelsea and Ashley. It's just size wise and you'll see the, the presents for Kaylee and Abby are very practical. <laughs> and then they all have a snack. But I'm not doing a ton of Easter candy because they also need plain candy. So we're just being practical this, this year for Easter. So that's set and done. This set of six right here in the middle is Ashley and her birthday. I ran out of tissue paper, so I need to either, I need, just need to go get some from the garage. But I was on a roll, so I just, I let it be. They're kind of wrapped up a little bit so you can't actually see what's what the actual gift is one of them you kind of can but i'm just gonna she doesn't know that they're in here um i'm just gonna tell her not to look and then again i ran out of wrapping paper these are kaylee's presents right here two of them but i am not going to tell her that there's another set of presents hidden in the other room um i can't show you that one it's really really cool i'm really excited it totally came out like i thought it would um, except the gift bag, the big cellophane bag, did not fit it. And I don't know that I'm going to worry about finding one that does fit, because the way we, Jason and I got it to work, it works. It looks really good. I'm like really hot. So, um, Jason's friend, our friend, has not come over yet. He was at the hospital with his dad doing a procedure, so he hasn't come yet. So, um, why I'm kind of just continuing to, got these from, these also were part of the Easter gifts. Again, very practical. And I'm going to hide the rest of them in my drawer. Um, 
So we just kind of kept cleaning the house, kept vacuuming. He dusted while I vacuumed. Um, kids are gonna get home. I need them to kind of do their daily chore um, so that we can just enjoy a Saturday with the nice weather. I might actually go for a walk tomorrow. So, um, and we have to go shopping with Chelsea. And we might go try those new Dairy Queen dipped cones. They have like a new white chocolate dip cone. It looked kind of yummy. So just something extra to go do tomorrow. Um, w with the nice weather. It'll feel nice to like get an ice cream cone and maybe go sit at a park or something. So anyway, it just, it feels good. We're not done yet. We're not ready to go. We still have, we still have days. We, st we actually have weeks. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I'm going to put that out there. We have time, but I get kind of anxious about this kind of stuff. So I am actually going to just relax a little bit and sit back and watch the show. Let's watch the other half of this movie. And I also knew I needed to have a healthy snack. I know it's really random. Olives, carrots, and apples. <laughs> and a water. But it's okay because I'm trying to trying to be good and not sit down in the middle of the day with an actual like sugar snack. So well my um quiet time was short lived. I was able to finish my movie and then this one came home. Come here, let me look at it. She looks like she has a black eye. Come here. Is it mascara? I'm like, I was just starting to like feel like I was getting tired. It's still like a line there and it's like. Well, like a lot of the black is off. So she had a little bit of mascara. Look up. But like it looked like there was like a little cut or a little something or other it underneath is. there. do some explaining so our friend came over it was supposed to be a guy's night it's his birthday a friend that came over but they were supposed to have a couple at least one other guy come over that I know of and we talked for easily an hour hour and a half and this friend wasn't showing up for them to go out to dinner with and so um, and then we found out that him and his wife decided to take their camper van and go out of town <laughs> so they were out for game night or for guys night. I was supposed to have a girls night tonight with my girlfriends, but we moved it to next week. And so we had a, like, I was the third wheel, like hanging out with this, our friend and Jason and having, it was a good conversation, but it was also a really hard emotional conversation. It was very like personal and we've been wanting to have a good conversation and we just haven't been able to get together for a long time. So I just, I, Suddenly the camera was down. Obviously, I'm like, I'm not gonna bring the camera along for personal conversations, especially when they don't involve like our family, like me. Like, well, they involve me, but like, it's our friend. And I mean, it, it was, it was a hard, it was a hard conversation. And by the time we realized that the other friend wasn't coming for guys night, they were like, Jason and our friend, well, damn it, you're coming to dinner with us. And so I ended up going to dinner with them and we had a more of a, conversation there and it was good times and and then when we came back home talked a little bit more and now they're watching a true guys movie and I don't have anything to do with it I don't know what they're watching but they are true guy movie kind of guys and like I said it's his birthday so he's here until that movie is over and I have showered and I'm getting ready for bed actually I'm getting into bed right now as soon as I turn this off um, I don't know where our day went it was it was a good day it was productive the house is clean um, the kids will do their Saturday chores tomorrow. We'll have an easy day because I got the house way more clean and I'm way ahead of schedule with like the packing and the kids' birthday presents and whatnot. So it was a good productive day um, in so many ways. So many ways, like the house, planning, trip, travel, birthdays, and friends. And I am so glad that I have like, and Jason, like did the conversation also involved Jason obviously, but. I'm glad that I have um, stability in all of those different areas of my life because I know a lot of people don't um, and I'm grateful for friends that are able to have the hard conversations um, and be there for us and we want to be there for them as well and that I'm grateful for Jason in, in 
good and bad. It's um, important to recognize him in this too, that like I have him and he's a huge support and I know we tease each other. I tease him probably more, but he's a huge support to me and when I when we have these hard conversations, it's more prev it's more like in my mind how good of a guy he is and how perfect he is for me and how grateful I am to have him in my life. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it these days without someone who like honored me as an independent person. Like I want to think my own way. I want to do things my own way, even if that drives him crazy. Um, but he allows me to be me, good and bad. <laughs> and I appreciate that because I know a lot of guys or spouses or partners don't always allow each other to be who they are. So I just wanted to like publicly say that to Jason. Um, and I say that to him in private too. It's not like I'm only doing it here, but um, I just find that really important in life. So, um, but anyway, just wanted to share that all with you on a you know, more serious note. And you have to see that serious note with this <laughs> situation going on. But I just wanted to thank you guys also for being good friends and for being there with us. Uh, I think someone made a comment like, I'm glad you were able to have fun amidst all the chaos. And I, our life is chaotic when you kind of see it like surgery, ur urgent care, urgent care, sickness, infection, travel, change of travel. You know, like it is kind of chaotic when you see it like 20 minutes at a time. But in general, even though we have all those little snippets of things going on in our life, our days are really like somewhat calm. Like they're not too stressful, I will say. So I know it looks chaotic because I kind of sometimes bring the chaotic um, to a video or whatever because that's just what's going on in our life. But 80% of the rest of the day or week or whatever is pretty calm and we're not like stressed people. The kids are very calm here at home even when someone else is sick or injured or whatever, everyone else is calm and doing their thing and very responsible and they're living through their own life, not feeling the chaos, I guess I should say. Um, so I think that's a good balance to have within a family. So kudos to my kids as well. So anyway, long winded, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. Hope you're doing good. Thank you for being there for us and hopefully I can be there for you. So take care. Good night.